Hey guys, I'm Ben, and welcome back to my Sims First Day file. Last time, we toured the Beecher household and took a look at what happened inside. And today, we're taking a look at their across-the-street neighbors, the Langrabs. So the Langrabs and the Goths founded and built up all of Willow Creek, but when the Altos arrived in town, the Langrabs were single-handedly bought out and forced into the shabby little McMansion in Oasis Spring. Will they be able to take their revenge on the Altos and take back their rightful place at the top of the social ladder, or will internal conflict and World Cup secrets tear them apart? So here's their contemporary McMansion, worth $561,652. The Langrabs are furious when they learn that they have to move into one of their dinky little McMansions because of the Altos. Now they are forced to live across the street from local freaks. That is unacceptable. They will take their revenge, no matter the cost. So today we're taking a look at the land grabs and, and I really wanted to give them more of their Sims 3 look. I really like the color scheme that I used for them, which was sort of their pale, tan, green sort of color scheme that was used here, which is very different from the red, yellow, blue color scheme we have from the Altos. So one thing that I really wanted to show off was just the fact that, that the Altos and the Lion Grabs had such a strong rivalry, you know, and influencing that into the story is something that is so interesting and in a way like super important, you know, into adding lore into this game and connecting the three worlds in the base game in their own way, you know, because The Sims 4 is basically one huge uberhood and I just find it to be interesting that you can have so many different characters in this world. One thing that I am a big fan of is just how I can use the land grabs to implement them into the story of Strange Town. Because I just find it super interesting how you never really see them interact with people in Strange Town. And just considering the possibility of them just having that sort of punishment, just living at their own desert home, trying to just survive. I mean, it's like, oh no, how are we going to survive in this super expensive gaudy mansion? Oh no. But, uh, I don't know, I just find it fascinating how I really wanted to make this an ugly house with some inspiration from the original Landgrab house, you know? Like, you have the maze in front, we have this enormous fountain here, their lawn is completely green. You know, they really wanted to show off everything. And, like, it's super, like, gaudy and huge and it's not worth very much because of just how horrible it is so like it's in a bad location it has a great view but it's right across the street from the beaker household and no one wants to live there no one wants to buy this house especially because of how like you know kind of like poorly designed it is i mean it is pretty like i like the way it looks you know it's like this huge kitchen but it's also like very excessive very like unorthodox you know like, it's kind of meant to be, like, you know, like, you know, classic EA bad build, right? But, like, but in a way that sort of story tells a story, you know, and it's, it doesn't feel, like, super empty without, you know, a purpose, right? Because I feel like, you know, empty with a purpose would be, like, in if you have, like, one room that's large, but, only, but the only thing in there is, like, a single doll, you know? Or maybe, like, you have, like, everything, like, one color except for, like, one red toy you know like that's like the set for like a horror movie or something but yeah there's just a lot going on and a lot of things i do want to like add like some of these places like need like windows into the rooms and stuff but yeah like there's just so much that i could do to perfect everything in the save file that will be updated especially since now that we're getting new updates with like beds and all that one thing i like about this particular room is just having like all these like photos of Nancy it just posed here you know I just find it funny she has a super like, like large room here it's very you know it's actually she like shows off her wolf everywhere you know and here we have her bathroom here you know? and then you go over here and you take a look at her nice huge closet and one thing that you might be able to see in here is this creepy door that leads to 
this room. I really wanted to show off how much Nancy hates Ida Alto, especially, you know, and the rest of the Alto family. And just having a hate shrine here is just something that I wanted so much, you know. It was so dramatic, but so my style. Just having it be weird and colorful and funny. And then we go to her office and see, like, this one I took a lot of inspiration from Wilson. Because I saw her make this, like, like, room challenge based on, like, all these different sims. And, like, this is, like, her office and, like, her, like, you know, like, personal bathroom and stuff. I personally, like, really love it. I love just doing, messing around with, like, all this stuff. Creating lore that we deserve, you know, that these sims deserve. And we have this sort of backyard area with this huge pool and this sort of island dining area, you know. Uh, it gives me the feelings of the original Sims 3 house. And you have this beautiful lookout over here. I like this gorgeous view that you would love. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the house. I can go back into like the main grabs and just take a look at the things. Like she's she's a high level in the, a criminal career. And I really wanted that just because of the fact that uh, it was like something that she resorted to, you know, like she was a rich person who resorted to crime because she was exiled from her family, you know, and there, there's a sort of rivalry slash chaos sort of thing with, with him being like sort of a lead detective, you know, and I don't know, there's just like a lot of things that I, I think about, like they're all enemies with the senior land grabs. Well, that's one way to make things interesting. <laughs> well, well, that's your fault, and I'm not gonna play around with that. Like, we have a lot of these sims that are hated, which are like low class sims and all that. Especially, like, they're more close, they have more of a relationship with the people in Willow Creek because that's where they're originally from, you know? Like, they like were forced into like their other home here. This is like their second home. And their first home is like the Alto House, and I'm like they were the ones put in charge of this place, and now they've lost it, you know. And there's just have this negative memories with these Sims, and also yes, I put in my Sims for Let's Play Sims because I'm very attached to them. So, yeah. <laughs> Even Nancy has like romantic romance relationships with Betsy. I just find that so funny, like an entire relationship with Jeffrey, you know. Like, oh man. <laughs> I love this. Like, I love like her enemy relationship with Ida. It's just it's so funny to me. So yeah. Oh one more one more room in the house I forgot to show off was actually Malcolm's room. And I almost forgot, but here it is. Malcolm's room, very large, very different in the feel, you know. Like it's very comfy, actually very spacious, and I kinda like this, like I like the idea of having this large open area that could be used as sort of like a gaming room or something, you know? Just, I don't know, there's something that I really enjoy about this sort of thing. I really love the color scheme here too, you know? Just, it adds so much. And it's just like, I don't know, I just really love, like, this style and all that. And then you have the bathroom here, which is equally huge and gaudy. I really need to, like, put, like, windows, like, everywhere though. Like, I just haven't, like, doing that. And I mean, it's not that big a deal, it's just like, uh, it's something that I would want to do. One thing I actually didn't like talk about with this bedroom is that this is actually like their ex-son's room, you know? And I think I talked about like how their ex-son had a room in the other house too. So yeah, like we'll be showing him off later. I mean, we all know who he is, but you know. But yeah, Johnny Zest. I remember seeing Johnny Zest in The Sims 4 for the first time in my during my Let's Play actually, and I was just like, why the heck is there someone named Johnny Zest in it in this game? Like that can't be real, right? And I don't know, it was it was such a weird thing to have in this game, but I kinda liked it. So next time in The Sims 4, we are going to take a look at our next house, which is I think is probably going to be I don't know well, I'm just trying to think about like what house is next 
And I think we're gonna look at the Zest house, the Zest and Broke Senior house, because as that's, I think that's the perfect way to transition to the next one. So, Nick, for next time, we'll be taking a look at that. And thanks for watching. See you later.